we have this picture we can see the label that we're going to insert we click OK insert the table and refresh the index in this tutorial I'm going to show how to create automatically the number for figures and tables with automatically table of contents on the Word document I'm writing a dissertation about virtual reality and I already have a list of figures and tables but everything was entered manually the numbering and the description like the descriptions on the figures and the description on the table of contents but we're going to create this automatically let's search a figure to use we have this one in the description and the number of the picture was added manually what we're going to do is we go to references and insert caption when we click it it opens this panel you can see here the preview in label we can choose between equation figure illustration or table but we can add a new label if you need to use something different what we want now is figure we can see that we'll have figure 1 we can choose the position but we have here numbering because we can do something different we want to identify the chapter number and the number of the picture in the format we can choose 1 to 3, ABC and others for example if you choose letters it will be figure A but we want numbers and we choose include number of chapter because we want to add figure 1.1, 1.2 where the first number is the chapter of the document then we can separate by an hyphen a dot, two dots or a dash we're going to choose a dot therefore we'll have figure 2.1 because it will be the chapter number 2 and the figure number 1 and click OK and there it is let's copy this description To the identifier of the figure if we select the text we can see the 2 and the 1 are in the darker gray that means they are contents generated by word the 2 and the 1 are generated automatically it is the number of the chapter and the number of the picture let's make the same for a few others for example these two insert caption we want to add in the same way let's copy this description we can move it inside the table and the same for this one insert caption it is 2.3 we can see that both references 2.2 and 2.3 the number is automatic coming back to the table of contents we can delete the text because it was written manually and again in the references we click insert table of figures in this panel we can change some configurations like to not show the page number or put a number next to the description with no separation or fill the space with dots or dashes but we want dots we can also change some formats like the table of type of captions for this one we want figures because it's what we're making right now and this is the preview what we're going to have and we click OK and we have the table of contents with the figures that we identify figure 2.1, 2.2, 2 2.3 if we make some alteration on the figure like removing some text and leaving only the name and then come back to the table of contents this part should refresh automatically we choose refresh field and refresh all the table and automatically what we change below will change here now we're going to add another picture between those ones let's use this picture 
and then here between these ones. Right now we can see that this picture is 2.1 and this one the 2.2. We paste the picture here, then insert caption with the same configurations and write the description. We can see that this reference is now 2.2. The above is 2.1, this one is 2.2, and the other ones below is 2.3 and 2.4. The numbering was changed automatically. Coming back to the table of contents, we can press F9 or with the mouse click Refresh Index. And the new picture was inserted between 2.1 and the old 2.2, that now is 2.3, and is identified the numbering of the page, the description and the number of the picture. So now everything is working to identify all the pictures and create a table of contents automatically with the number of the pictures and the descriptions. For the tables is similar. Let's make an example for the tables. Let's find a table. We have one here that the number is written manually. We click again insert caption. But now we don't want figure, we want table. It is the table 2.1. But in this case we don't want the number of chapters. In this case the 2. So we click numbering and remove include the chapter number. And we can choose like letters. No, let's use the chapter numbers and use letters, but separated by a dash. So it will be table 2-a, 2b, 3a, 3b, 3c. It will show the chapter and the letter corresponding to the table. We click OK. So we now have the table 2-a. Let's move the description to this identifier. And let's add another table for the example. We insert a simple table. In the references, we click Insert Caption, and we have the table 2-B. And we can do this in the other chapters. But for now, let's use only these two tables. Let's come back to the index. We can delete this manual text. In References, we click Insert Table of Figures, but now we choose Table. We can uncheck the numbering of the page, only to show the description and not showing the number of the page, and we click OK. Something wrong happened with this one. Let's check what was the reason, because I think I didn't write the description. Yes, I didn't write any description. Let's write new table without contents. We come back to the index and refresh the table. So we have table 2a and table 2b with the description for that one. If we insert tables between them, or after the last one, we can come back to the table of contents and refresh. And this way, we can identify pictures, tables, equations, or whatever we want by adding a new label. Something different with a new label that doesn't exist in the world. Then, we add the table of contents that automatically updates with the new information. And this is the way you can create the automatically numbering of pictures and tables with the automatic table of contents in a Word document. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click like and leave a comment about this video or other videos you want me to do.